today we're going to show you a couple of rigging options that, that we're using. We're using got skip jack this morning. This is a brand new rod. Got this at Gander Mountain. I thought I'd try it out. Silver Cap Magnum. The seven and a half foot one piece rod. Um, no experience whatsoever. Don't really know anybody that has one. But uh, so far, I really like it. It's got a paracord grip. I like the number of eyes on it. This is a big. This is a big boy, though. We got another fish on another rod. Oh yeah. This is probably a good 60 pounder. Maybe a little bigger. pound fish. This is what's critical in these guys, girls. Oh. Letting them go. 64 pounder. Alright folks, what we're going to do is uh, show you exactly how we're rigging. And what I've got here is a skipjack caught and I've frozen. Hasn't been froze all that long. A um, couple of weeks probably. Now there's a diff many different ways of doing this but what I'm basically going to be doing today I prefer to just cut chunks. So we're gonna cut a couple of chunks like this. Now here's what we've got here for one setup. <clears throat> Basically you have a sliding no roll sinker. This is my favorite sinker for most anchor situations. I've got a 50 pound main line, a little bead you, you slide on there to cushion the knot, a large barrel swivel. I'm using 80 pound leader with an ADOT Team Catfish double action circle hook. Leader uh, length varies according to the situation. If you're in a real snaggy area and the current is high, you might want to go to a shorter leader to prevent snags so this isn't rolling around as much. In calmer lake situations, I prefer the longer leader for uh, extra abrasion resistance, basically. Um, live bait in snaggy situations, you want to have a short leader. Um, typically, I prefer 12 to 14 inches. Just that way, if I got to lose the hook in a fish's mouth and I got to cut some line, I got some line left to be able to tie back on another hook without having to re. Uh, retie another whole leader 
Um, these big baits, there's different ways. This is my preferred method, as I go in right here at a 45 degree angle and hook that backbone. Make sure there's no scales on it. This is what I prefer. Everybody's got a different method. That's what I prefer. All right. Here's my other rigging method. I prefer this for drift fishing situations or where you need more versatility. Um, it's a team catfish slider with a, you could hook a variety of sinkers on here, different weights depending on size. One of their team catfish little bumpers. And then the rest of it's pretty the same, but it allows you to change weights out. You can go weightless if you just want to drag a bait or you can, according to current conditions when you're drifting, you may want to up your sinker size. We finally managed to pull another kitten out. And you can see how it's pretty beat up, but how this hook is always in the corner of the mouth.